to the people and eliminate the evil. So if you agree, these are come. Welcome to Wakanda. Go and tell your father. Shit, you don't get a passport. It doesn't really matter. Praise God, hallelujah. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'm back again, man. Dan Trioni back in the video. Man, it's a beautiful day today, man. See the sun shining. Got my sunglasses and everything. Uh, it's kind of windy, though. But, um, yeah, man, what we doing today, man? You see the title, man. Uh, so what I'm doing, you know, I decided to do some stupid, you know, it's probably stupid. I might regret it. Um, yeah, it depends on how much I regret it. I might not even upload it, but we'll see. We'll see how that how that works out in a couple seconds, man. But what I'm doing, um, so um, actually, it's a very popular thing. Well, not very popular, but at some point it was. Uh, pretty much what it is, you, uh, you make your um, engine sound like it's cammed. You know the way you know those. You've heard those on a cam, the V8. You know those old school channel that chop, chop, chop that wolfy sound. So you can make any engine sound like it, and it's not just a V8. Pretty much any engine. You know, it could be a four-cylinder V6. Don't really matter. You can make it sound like it's cam like a uh, cam V8 you know without actually having the cam in it and pretty much what you do you uh, disconnect the uh, PCV vacuum hose whatever and um, according to what I found out so far pretty much what it is when you disconnect that hose you can uh, the computer is gonna try to compensate for it and just gonna dump shit ton of fuel into the engine and um, uh, you know it kind of you know that what you know makes it make that uh, funny Whoopy sound. So, um, now obviously this is not. You know, I'm not gonna drive like this. You know, I'm just gonna do it for you. This is just for you know video testing purposes. So I don't recommend doing this. Like I said, I'm not gonna drive. I'm just gonna let it idle for probably like a couple seconds and then I'm, you know, put it back and just the way everything is. But uh, yeah, man, just you know, just you know, I just try to have fun. You know, so if I break anything, well, y'all can laugh at me in the comments and everything. And uh, let's get this started, man. Let me show you how to do this. Yeah, step in the car. I'm in this beautiful location, you know what I'm saying? Actually, just in a wild parking lot. Uh, I'm close to my house. Actually, my house isn't too far from me, and the reason why I'm close is just in case I break anything. At least I can, you know, walk home or something, you know. So, uh, but yeah, just a quick update. You see my lap, my previous videos. You know, I just recently installed uh, the sketch can. And I was having issues because it was kind of sideways. So I was able to uh, put that straight down. And it's actually like facing down now. So, and also one thing I did. You can see the hose looking different. Um, the centerpiece is missing. So I was doing some research about these hoods. And this plastic covers for the 5.7. It only comes with a 5.7 Hemi. And people say, you know, some people, at least most people actually, they say um, this uh, hood kind of like traps heat the uh, manifold and makes the uh, manifold temperatures a little high uh, which kind of makes sense but I don't really know if that's true uh, so I wanted to take the cover off but I kind of like I mean you know let me take it off right now. so I wanted to like you know just take it off but the problem with that is that I don't really like this wires and everything it kind of looks messy but I like seeing the manifold so what I decided to do was just cut the uh, center part off so that way I can still have the cover on there, blocking all this nastiness, but I can still see the manifold. So uh, that's what I did, man. But uh, anyways, uh, man, I'm kind of sick, man. So so uh, this PCB right here, this, this is the holes you want to take off. So. Uh, okay, that sounded pretty good. I'm going to get something. But yeah, that's the holes you want to take off. And i um, show you what it looks like. I got my good old flathead. Right it out. Damn, I just put that in not so long ago. Shoot, I'm stuck there. There we go. Alright. Uh, so now I'm just gonna, you know, start it and see what it, what it sounds like. You know. Let's go start this thing. I said I'm all, I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit. I'm not gonna 
Make it one foot too long. Oh man, I'm kind of scared. I can hear the, um, I don't know, you can hear the uh, loud click right there. But, uh, there's nothing. It sounds fine. It's not idling like crazy. Idling. It's idling differently, but not really um, what I thought it was going to be. Like you can hear it when I put it back on. So it's just, yeah, it's just louder. It's, it's not really. Man, that was kind of a fail. It's just louder, it doesn't sound like it's can go like, you can hear it get louder. It just gets louder, but... <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't really. I think I might have choked the engine or something. Just died. But, um, yeah, man, you seen the video? Yo, man, it doesn't really. No, the videos, when I watch the videos online on YouTube, most of the cars that it did it with, at least for the V8s, were like Mustangs and stuff, so. I think it only works on Mustangs, but not on Hammonds, because you can see when I did it, it didn't sound any different. It just sounded louder, but it didn't sound like it was scanned or anything, so. Um, that was kind of a fail, but you know, it's tight though, you know. At least I gotta try it and see what it sounds like, but. Yeah, it just sounded louder, it just sounded like it was scanned or anything, so. Yeah, it is what it is, but anyways. I'm gonna end the video now, you know, it's just gonna be a short little video. Um, let me know what you guys think, you know. I'm pretty sure I did it the way it was supposed to be. Um, you know, I don't think I did anything. But anyways, uh, engine's still running fine, you know. Everything still works, I didn't break anything. Oh, man. This still sounds good. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, man. Like, subscribe. Uh, follow my Instagram also, I'll put the links down, there, down in the description. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out.